How's it going guys? One of lots of people's favourite things about new updates for Horizon 5 are the new cars. If an update doesn't have good cars in it, it's generally conceived as a bad update nowadays. New cars are just such an important thing. So in this video we're going to touch on the latest developments in the car world for Forza Horizon 5. There's been loads of random leaks happening, quite a few cars that could be coming quite soon. There's quite a big list of them and the next update for Horizon 5 looks very interesting in terms of cars as well. So we're going to quickly going to touch on that about what the next update could be bringing us in terms of cars as well it's just a general update video of what's been happening lately first off though this is the last chance to enter the apex all-stars car pack giveaway i've got a few codes to give away courtesy of turn 10 studios comment your game attack make sure you're subscribed and the winners will be picked in the next video this is your last chance now speaking about the car pack something very interesting happened last week when the car pack was launched it was originally supposed to be 10 euros well it was spotted that it was actually listed for the incorrect price it was listed for half price at five euros and it was there for a good amount of time long enough for Forza Horizon themselves over on Twitter to actually put out a tweet almost encouraging people to go and buy it while it was on discount I thought that was very bizarre it's nice to see they've got a kind of a bit of a sense of humor I suppose they didn't just block everybody from buying it they actually told us about it it almost looks like it could have been purposeful i don't know it seems really bizarre that they would willingly give away a car pack for half the price i thought the pricing on stuff like that would be so strict that they'd have no choice but to just pull it straight away but i don't know if you were one of the people that got the car pack for a cheap price well done <laughs> cars that's what we're here for let's quickly recap what's happened over the past couple of weeks and update the leaked car list and see what we might be getting next well the last update we anticipated that two cars that were teased and leaked would be included in the apex all stars update they weren't we're on about the s5s raptor that is one of the cars that was teased on tiktok if you can see on screen right here this video by foot to themselves it has the s5s raptor within it we expected it to be in the next update it was a clue it didn't come so perhaps this is the next update either way it's now on our leaked car list because well it was leaked we know it exists in the game because it was in the tiktok the second one is over at hennessy hennessy performance on youtube put out this poll asking what cars are in the forza franchise and the correct answer was all of the above which is really weird because that isn't the correct answer the Venom 1200 Shelby GT500 Mustang is not in Horizon 5. This post is telling us it is. We also thought this was a clue for what's coming in the next update. It didn't come, but what we can do now, in my opinion, is add the Raptor and the Venom 1200 Shelby GT500 Mustang to the leaked car list. Perhaps they're coming in the next update that's coming, or it might be a couple of updates away. The best example of leaks at the moment are these nine cars here that were leaked months and months ago. Up until now, six of the nine cars have been been added it just goes to show that it might take a couple of months for something to reach the game not necessarily straight away now another car that I'm tempted to add to the leaked car list which I hope I can someday is the McMurtry Spearling now if you follow the Forza Motorsport videos this car was leaked over on Steam for Forza Motorsport a good few months ago and this tweet was put out a few weeks ago on the Forza Motorsport page and look what it says it actually teases the McMurtry Spearling. Now, that isn't in the game, and it wasn't in Update 6, but it is the second time now that that car has been mentioned by Forza Motorsport, so I have almost no doubt in my mind that we are going to see that car in Forza Motorsport at some point unless licensing issues have appeared or other issues entirely. But what that does mean is we could certainly consider it being a car for Forza Horizon 5 as well. And if you don't know anything about this car, it's a fan car, it's got a stupid amount of horsepower, it's electric, it holds the record at Goodwood Festival of Speed Hill Climb, it's an insanely fast car would be brilliant to have in Forza Horizon 5. So with how much that's being mentioned over on Motorsport, I think we could consider that being a contender for Forza Horizon 5 at some point, not necessarily in the next update. What's the next update for Horizon 5 going to be? As the theme of it hints at some very interesting cars. It is called Horizon Retro Wave and straight away it screams retro. The highway decorations look very retro. So are the cars we're going to get going to be retro? Well, it would make sense. Obviously, Pagan Games trying to 
stick stick to the theme for each update. The definition of retro is questionable. It all goes down to what Playground Games class as retro. If you Google it, it says relating to, reviving, or being the styles and or especially the fashions of the past. So retro might not necessarily mean a really old retro car. It might mean a modern remake, revived version of a retro car from the past. Some good examples of this that have popped up over on Reddit, GT Planet, all the forums lately is the Lamborghini Countach. It's a, it's a remake of an old retro Lamborghini. It's highly anticipated to come to Forza Horizon 5. I believe it's really high up on the leaked, on the voted car list, sorry. It would make perfect sense. Another one that is, isn't is as likely as the Lamborghini, the Bugatti Centrodeci, Centrodeci, however you say it, that car in itself as well. I think the Lamborghini is a lot more likely. It fits the retro theme a lot more. But as I said, this guy makes a valid point. It all goes down to what Playground Games consider to be retro. But either way, it could be a very interesting update for cars. It could be anything from the late 70s to the early 2000s. It could be a modern car that's a remake of an older car. The Maserati MC20 gets mentioned like every month now. I'm sick of talking about it, but it's part of that very credible leak. I can imagine they're having licensing issues at this point. It's, it doesn't really make sense why it's taken so long. If the MC20's class is a retro car, then maybe this is the update it finally comes it is perhaps just different variants of already existing icons like the Countach Diablo maybe we're getting different variations to the Diablo the DeLorean back to the future was found and noted in the files a few months ago now and obviously the DeLorean is known for being in the back to the future movies perhaps there's some back to the future crossover car I don't know that fits the bill perfectly with retro in my opinion so we can add that to the possibilities and speaking of movie cars and sort of fictional cars um good points that were brought up is that all of the other sort of fictional cars that we've had in Futsa in the past could be coming back such as the the Chrysler's Rocket 69 from Fallout that could be that could be coming back we've got the we've got the Quadra Turbo VR Tech however you say it from Futsa 2004 that could come back I think that's from Cyberpunk and we've got the Quartz Regalia that could come back as well there's lots of fictional cars people seem to have mixed opinions on whether or not fictional cars will come back again licensing is always a factor they can't just keep adding the cars to the game with all the motorsport and Forza Horizon 5 relations lately in terms of cars being added between updates we can take a look at all of these cars on screen that have been added to Forza Motorsport and consider them to come as well so any cars on here that scream retro could most definitely come to the game I'm probably going to do another video specifically talking about the next update deep diving into what the highway decorations are going to be event lab props the new radio station as we do have clues about that as well this video is more just talking about the car situation lately let me know in the comment section below what you guys think and we will revisit this next week when we deep dive into the update specifically that's everything for today guys leave a like if you enjoyed and I'll see you all later